English. I'm Flavien, Flavien from Benin National Teachers of English Association. And today I'm here to share with you Beninese EFL teachers experienced difficulties in writing goals and objectives for lesson plan. Uh, uh, I've been involved uh, in uh, secondary school uh, lesson preparation with teachers uh, for years now and uh, uh, I have noticed uh, the following. Uh, most of the uh, teachers with whom I'm, I work uh, in writing objectives uh, uh, have some difficulties and uh, they fail in writing good objectives and this leads to a poor involvement of uh, students in classroom event. And uh, as a teacher researcher, I, I then ask myself the following question. Uh, what meaning do EFL Beninese uh, uh, instructors uh, make of writing objectives? And uh, what difficulties uh, do EFL instructors encounter in setting goals and objectives? And the findings are, are as follows. First of all, what I, I notice uh, is that there is a misconception uh, uh, of objectives and, uh, and goals. So teachers uh, uh, don't uh, always make a difference between goal and objectives and think that they are the same. John in 1997 uh, shows that uh, uh, there is uh, uh, a difference between goal and objective uh, and uh, uh, state that uh, goal is broad whereas objective is specific and uh, uh, when we take uh, a goal there are many objectives inside so this is the first uh, misconception and another problem uh, is that uh, teachers fail in writing okay objectives that is uh, uh, to say that they do not know that there are some principles governing the writing of the objectives and method of writing those objectives actually there are okay and many authors have uh, suggested uh, some methods in writing objectives one of uh, these methods is uh, the abcd method uh, a stands for audience b for behavior uh, C for condition and uh, D for degree. Let, let, let's uh, take this example. Uh, after being given some example, student uh, uh, of the first form will be able to turn a uh, regular verb into a uh, simple past without uh, any mistakes. When we look at this example, the audience here are the student of the first form and uh, the behavior expecting from them is that they are able to write uh, uh, regular verbs into simple past. The condition is after given, after uh, those uh, uh, students are given some example of this, and uh, the degree of mastery is 100%, that is to say, without uh, any mistakes. So, you see, Objectives, okay, writing are, are not done in vacuum. There are some, some, some methods and principles. And uh, even putting those elements in, in, in order is important. Like when writing objectives, okay, it is important to put the condition first and then the, the the audience after the audience you may put the you may put the uh, yeah after the audience you have uh, the behavior and finally the degree of mastery and this uh, leads us to some examples of objectives uh, uh, to say that when we set an objective you write an objective we may write objective just to show an application level or to solve a problem. Uh, it can be effective, uh, it can also check comprehension level, 
a psycho motto. Uh, this brings us to Bloom taxonomy and objective writing. You know, Bloom has done a wonderful job in 1975 in putting into place a chart, a triangle, in which he has defined the different level of critical thinking and uh, the different verbs, okay, are uh, linked to each level uh, when we want to write our objectives. So the first level for Bloom taxonomy is the level of remembering, then uh, understanding, then analyzing, then applying, evaluating, and finally creating. When you take uh, the, 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 the level of uh, understanding, uh, it has uh, its uh, action verbs. And this is true to the, the, the other levels. And uh, as a search, it helps the teacher mastering room taxonomy, uh, uh, triangle and action verbs, help the teacher to write his very good objectives and even uh, know if he is uh, he has done it well he has uh, done it well or not this leads us to evaluation and uh, uh, objectives uh, another issue in the country is that people think that coming to evaluation the objectives uh, will not be taken into account but this is wrong there is a direct link between evaluation and objectives. Actually, we evaluate to see if the objectives are reached or not. So the evaluation is just there to tell us if we, are, uh, we, we have achieved or we have not achieved. So it is important, very important, to know all this because without writing a clear a good objective this will impact negatively on learners my final thought is that in the past we think that if johnny didn't learn okay it was uh, johnny's problem but now if he, he he doesn't learn there is something we teachers we are not doing and one of these things may be we not 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 writing well doing well uh, writing well our objectives so uh i would like to say that it is important uh, uh, to conclude that writing objectives is very important when uh writing uh, putting into place one's lesson plan and Objectives are not written haphazardly. There are some principles gov governing uh, the writing of, of objective, and there are many methods of writing of objective. And evaluation, our is assessment, should definitely okay check and verify if our objectives is rich or not. Thank you for your rapt attention, and uh, bye bye.